Oh. <laughs> yeah. That's Tasha. That's Steph. Let's go ahead and fill in the rest. We gonna eat a little, drink a little. Our story time is the best. Have you L O L when you click play? No, this ain't no click bait. What's up, y'all? Hey guys, it's Steph and Tasha. We are back with another mukbang. bong. If you're new here, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the family. If you've been here before. Welcome back. What I'm gonna do today is eat this burrito while Stephanie watches me. We gonna play Try Not oh, to Eat no, Challenge. No, no, we ain't doing that today. You not gonna play the <laughs> Absolutely not. Absolutely okay. Not. Today we are doing a giant wet burrito mukbang together. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and we got a couple of your topics, y'all. Yeah, we do. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Let's get into the video. <laughs> All right, guys, we are back. Would you be mad if I just licked the whole top of this burrito? I wouldn't give a damn. I'm damn. Still about to eat this. Okay, all first right. of all, Tasha made the meat. She made everything. I rolled it up though. So as I was rolling, I tasted the meat mm. and it was so damn good, y'all. Okay, so I know this is about to be bomb. Thank you. I was like, oh my God. Okay, so we have ground turkey, beans, cheese, and onions inside. And then we got enchilada sauce, cheese, green onion, and then we got the olives just Seven for olives. Yeah, the olives are for sure. But I kind of wanted one. One okay. or two olives. We're going to see how it tastes. I can't wait till I need to learn how to make um, homemade refried beans. So I'm going to cut my oh, end. Babe, what, where's your end? You, you want me to put this over here when you're done? Stop being greedy. Just. Oh, you're just going to eat it slowly? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, y'all, I'm doing two times spicy. Because I had this one time in a video, a whole burrito to myself. Well, it was pretty much to myself, but Stephanie came in and. Yeah, she did. She did a two times spicy giant burrito one time, y'all, and it was good. This two times spicy oh goes really well with burritos. I do not know why. Oh, we forgot. Sour cream. Oh, yeah, sour cream. Should I just do one line? Um, or you no. want to just do it? Because I'm not as sure about go. sour cream. Okay, yeah, as, as we go. go. As we go. I know I want sour cream, y'all. Can you put some right here? Yeah. Yeah, thank you. We got the meat. Babe! I gotta cut I my can't burrito. even eat. I gotta cut we my got burrito. sauce sitting right here, y'all. Oh, yes. Let me pull this back. Y'all can't even see the sauce that's just uh, like oozing uh, down. Yeah, we're gonna be eating that too. Yeah, I see a little bit. That goes with the burrito. Woo. If it ain't saucy, I don't want it. Ooh, this is fresh out the oven too, so we better be careful. It's hot. <laughs> oh, this is about to be delicious. My mouth is watering. Who has made one of these at home before? Oh, my God. what do I do? What do I do? Do I pick it up? Mm. Ah. Oh. oh no! Mm -mm. You, you better get, that? get your ass back over here. Shit. That for real? Hell yeah. Mm. 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 Some green onion. Sorry. I don't know what what to do. I, I'm about to pick mine up. Ooh, show me his eyes. Look, y'all. That's the burrito. Yummy. Woo! Mmm. Mmm. If you smile when you eat, you know it's good. <laughs> and you're greedy. You smile when you do. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm over here happy. I'm over here giddy. Mm. Oh, you guys, if you have a drink that you want to get cold quick, wrap a wet paper towel around it and throw it in the freezer. It'll be ice cold and pretty fast. Pretty fast. Mm -hmm. It'll be very cold in 10 minutes. Ice cold in 30. It might freeze. We got that from some Keisha. little hack. We did. Didn't Keisha tell us that? I think Keisha tells us that. I don't know. Maybe. Mm. Oh yeah, we do have a topic. I don't know if Stephanie already told y'all. Mm. Mm. Oh, mm. that was hot. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I just ate a piece with the olive oil. It was good. Really? Mm -hmm. mm. I know a pet peeve of mine when people lick, suck their fingers. Lick their fingers. But I catch myself doing it. I mean, dang, sometimes you gotta just go in and lick the shit. Somebody asked us to do that today. Lick your fingers? No. He uh, said, he or she said, when you drink, can you please make the ah sound? <laughs> I was like, all right. <sighs> yeah, they want that. Let me get some of that enchilada sauce. Hope I don't eat no foil. You did yours good. My, my burrito? Mm -hmm. 
I should have broke a big piece off like that. Yeah, you should have. Now mine. You want you want this back? Burrito soup. Two times spicy. Yeah. Damn, she don't even give a damn. Mm. Usually she's like, no, I'm good. No, because I wanted to try it. Oh, that was too much. That was too much. I was wanting to try it anyway, but two times spicy. I love it. That piece didn't have a lot on there. Yeah, I didn't put a lot on it. That's why. That one on the other hand. I'm just playing. <laughs> Mm. Mm. That's good. I would have never tried to pair that because it's like Asian. Yeah. And then you mixing it, but it tastes good. To me, the flavor it works. It doesn't give me a. It don't give me it Asian. Give me Asian. Mm -mm. It's just a sweet, bold sauce. Yeah. Imagine putting that on a burrito. Sweetness. Yeah. yeah. It works though. Mm-hmm. It definitely works. Sure does. But I don't eat too much more of that because. My stomach's been hurting a tiny bit because <clears throat> I keep, keep, keep throwing Samyang into everything I'm eating. The last couple days I've been she throwing. She be doing all kinds of stuff, y'all. She had the scorpion peppers, those other little peppers. What was it? What kind of pepper? The the um. You talking the Brazilian stuff? Yeah, the Brazilian pepper. They're called. Girl, I don't know what they called. They're called oh, something. She always doing something crazy. I love hot foods, you know, but I think my body has gotten to the point where it doesn't. Let's try. It. Mm -hmm. I probably don't need to be eating that either. Mm -hmm. This is really bomb. <laughs> mm -hmm. Can you guys imagine? Elijah doesn't like stuff like this. His little skinny butt. That's why he's so skinny. He don't want no extra sauce. He don't even like sauce on his food. Like, what the hell? <laughs> he don't, I don't think he likes messy food either. Mm -mm. Like he don't even eat. Like he don't combine his foods when he eat. Mm -mm. He'll sit there and eat a whole thing of fries. And then eat the uh, he, he's the like Mar Mar Marquise or Marquise mm -hmm. because Mar I noticed that he will he'll eat his food and he won't eat all of one thing but he'll eat most of one thing yeah before he starts on something else mm -hmm. Elijah does that Elijah will eat all of his fries first then he'll eat the burger or all of his burger first right I like I have to eat like if I run out of fries I'll be done with my burger <laughs> I oh, like gotta it together, together. Mm -hmm. To me, it doesn't matter, but when, when it comes to soul food, I need a little piece of everything yes. on the... Yes. That's why I like this place called Soul Burger. I don't know if you guys have ever been there. It closed down. It was in Inglewood. Shout out to Inglewood, if y'all know. Y'all know. They used to have all kind of sandwiches. I think the James Brown was the one, and they named it after people. I think James Brown was the one that had, like, greens, macaroni and cheese, yams, chicken, a chicken patty. It was good. Mm. It was delicious. All right, so I'm gonna start with the topic. Mm. This really combines my favorite two Spanish dishes. You can go, man. Um, I love enchiladas. I love burritos. Excuse me. You said Spanish dishes? Mexican? Yeah. Okay, gallery. That's what you want to look for. The gallery, Tasha. Screenshots. Boom. I have a topic and then I have something that someone said in the comments they just want us to talk about. So, this one is from a lady. She said, my name, oh, I ain't going to tell you her name. I'm 39 and I just got out of an 18-year relationship with my ex. 39? So they got together when she was 21? Yeah. She cheated on me. I was sick and couldn't work. I have a condition called sarcoidosis. I lost everything I worked when I was out on medical suspension. I lived with my sister the past couple of years. She was taking care of me. Then my first love came back into my life and completely rebuilt me and nursed me back to health. That's what I'm talking about. Um, I'm confused already. What are you confused about? She lived with her sister the past couple of after the, no. She just broke up with somebody, right? So when did she live with her sister? I lived with my sister the past couple of years. She was maybe after, maybe she said I just got out of an 18 relationship two years ago. Okay. Maybe because I mean, if me and you broke up two I years know. ago, I would not say I just got out. I would say okay, but okay, we'll keep trying to follow. So, do you want me to start over? Uh uh. I heard everything. I just couldn't put it together when I just broke up. Okay. Then my first love came back into my life and completely rebuilt me and nursed me back to health. Now I'm back working and rebuilding my life. I landed a job making 80K a year. I want to build a future with my first love. I feel like she's my hero. She brought me back to life. That's dope. 
but she doesn't want to be in a relationship with me. She told me I should start seeing other people, but in the same breath said, if I sleep with other women, we can't be on the same level. I'm so confused. What should I do? <laughs> Whoa. So I'm assuming the first love is not this person. Yeah, the first love is not the ex. Okay. It's the first love. I was I kept trying to bring her back in this uh the, mm -mm. the situation for some reason. No. She never came back. Okay. No. So she was with somebody for 18 years. That she person said, Hi, my name is. Why are you telling is me? Is it a name? man or a woman? Um, what are you asking me? If it's a woman? Mm-hmm. It's it looks like a stud. Oh, okay. Right? Oh yeah, okay. So she is she wants to build a life with the the first love but the first love don't want her correct she doesn't want to be in a relationship with her she just enjoys extracurricular activities she nurse your ass about to so you can be her stallion yeah at night ah! she is wrong she's not wrong she cared about you wanted to get you back on your feet because she's a caring person right that don't mean she gotta be with you and then she decided she was gonna Basically, use her for sex. That's what she wants to do you now. Can't use somebody she want to be a booty on. You can't use. Not that she will. Yeah. Okay. What would you do? What would y'all do? Uh, if <laughs> it was good, <laughs> I would continue to. <laughs> okay. Let her call me and just do that until. But you know what? No. I'm going to be honest. At 39, 40 years old. I will be ready to settle down. Yeah. Um, so, I, you know, it's very hard for me because look, let's say that's us, for okay. instance. We've been together for what, 10, 11 years, whatever the case is. If our relationship ended, that would kind of be a blow to me because it would be something that I would, wasn't, wasn't expecting. Right. So then I'd have to, at 40, I would have to redo my life because everything I've been planning is now no more. Right. So I honestly think that I would be out here looking for another woman to replace, not replace you, I'm sorry, but I would be looking for another woman to be in a serious relationship with. I wouldn't want to play around and just be sleeping around. I don't, I don't want to do it. I mean, maybe, maybe not. I'm imagining myself getting into an 18 year relationship at what, 19, 20, I don't know. Oh yeah. Yeah. I might be ready to play, but she obviously is not. Right. She wants a serious relationship. So right. I think you should, <laughs> this is what I would do. This is not what you should do. This is what I would do. Okay? She just asked me. I would continue do. to get my booty call cracking. Mm -hmm. And when I but I would date other people. And when I found somebody else I wanted to I don't know why she moving my burrito out there. Put right more um effort into, I would stop de dealing with the booty call. Yeah. That's what I would do. To me it's I don't see anything wrong with that. Pretty you single. Yeah. But the thing is, is you want this person. You care about her. That's and then true. you you got you grew even more feelings for her because she helped you and you feel like, wow, this person is so selfless. Yeah. She's basically more than a booty call, really. Cause you, know, you can do that to a booty call, but not for somebody who you really have feelings for. Right. Because you're going to be hurt. Yeah. So you you got to leave it alone. You mm -hmm. definitely don't want to keep just being with her on her terms. Because mm -hmm. you're still not going to be happy. I say leave it alone. I would. I would leave it alone. Even though I would still. <laughs> I would too. I still be calling that night. We ain't okay. the same. I, exactly. We're not like. Not everybody don't do same. it. If I, I had handled if I, yeah, if I had some feelings for somebody and mm -hmm. all she wanted was that for me, I would just be like, cool, well, at least mm -hmm. I get to, you know, cool. I know I turn my shit on and off. Yeah, me too. I'm like, okay, so she don't want me like that, but I still want that, so I'm gonna get it. Yeah. And that's it. I'm not gonna expect anything more from the right. person. I'm not gonna be and hoping I'm gonna be that looking, something's gonna happen. Yeah. I'll be looking for a long term with somebody else. Right. <clears throat> but having fun while I'm waiting. Yeah. But if you can't do that without seeing yourself Putting your, still having your emotions in there, still being hurt and all that, I say don't do it. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't do it. I would leave it alone. If I were you. Because you feel it some kind of way. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Um, thank her. <laughs> thank you, man. In more ways than one. And move along. Now, this comes from a top, I mean, uh, um, just the comments. She said, in y'all next video, can y'all do a topic talking about giving people so much energy that don't care about you? Mm. That don't care about you? Damn, damn, you give a fuck? Yeah, I mean, pretty much. You know people pretend like they care about you or think they care about you and don't actually care about you. Stop. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, I mean, her putting the, the ending of they don't even care about you is a lot for me. I don't see myself. 
even doing it. Nah. Yeah, I mean, but some people I do. can see people taking me for granted, you know, in the past they have, but I don't feel like they just didn't care about me. Mm -hmm. That's a lot. Like, you need to really do some work on yourself and understand your worth. You shouldn't be, ever be dealing with nobody that don't care about you. That's how I feel about it. Yeah. Like, that's a lot. I feel like people put their energy into people because they want, either they want to, I mean, there's probably a diff bunch of different reasons, but either they want just to make that person happy they want to be cool or they want to be popular or they want they want people to think of, of them sometimes you put energy into a person that doesn't care about you um you don't even probably care about them either well, you I know think a lot of people you just yeah, yeah i think a lot of people do that shit. you just want to be something that, that's hard well, yeah, it is. You got to think about it in so many, there's so many different, I'd have to know exactly the situation that you were talking about or make up a specific right. situation. Cause <laughs> let's say, um, relationships, like girlfriends, have I put energy into somebody that I felt like I didn't put the same energy back? Yeah. And I, energy to me was financial energy. I mean, because I don't think I put emotional energy into somebody that didn't give me emotional energy i mean maybe i helped somebody with some stuff and i'm and she probably didn't care about me like that but i still helped because the motherfucker didn't have nothing or something like that or mm -hmm. helping them through a trying time when i know they don't give a fuck about me but i know they give a fuck about whatever situation they're going through uh but i stopped doing all that people might care about you but they don't do anything to show you that you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so when you say that the person doesn't care about you, they probably do care about you. They just selfish. Mm -hmm. And everything is about them. Mm -hmm. But still, you still have to have standards mm -hmm. for yourself. You know? But I only fuck with people that know how to reciprocate friendship and relationship things that, you know. That's why she don't fuck with nobody. I got a couple people. I got a few people. I got a few people I fuck with, and a lot of people I don't. Yeah. All right, y'all. If y'all have any. Um, if you guys have any advice for the two topics that we did, please leave it in the comments below. We about to go, okay? If y'all like the video, give it a thumbs up. Comment and let us know what you guys think. Please subscribe to the vlog channel. Link is in the description below. Make sure you set your post notifications to all so you don't miss any of my daily uploads, live streams, or premieres. Until next time, on the good vibes. Peace.